Hello and welcome to the first how-to by Anthony Johnson. Today what I'm going to do is show you how to attach a camera with aim to a motion path while still being able to control the aim independently. So the first thing that I am going to do is create a curve that I'm going to use as my motion path. So I'm going to go up to create CV curve tool. I'm going to tap into my top view and I'm just going to create a simple curve. Hit enter to finish that and I'm just going to tap back into my perspective. After I have my curve created I want to come up to create cameras camera and aim. With the camera and aim still selected I'm going to come up to my window and hypergraph hierarchy. I want to pan over until I see my camera one group, my camera one, and my camera one aim. If you uh, do not see your camera one aim, what you need to do is come up to options, display, and click on hidden nodes. I'm going to click anywhere in my work area to deselect the camera one and the camera one aim then I'm going to reselect the camera one aim and just middle mouse drag that off to the side somewhere. After that I can close my window. Now I need to come up to window hypergraph connections. In here you should see a few nodes. The one that we need to move is the camera one node and I'm just going to click and drag that above. The reason I'm doing that is so that I can see the constraint rotates a little bit easier. I need to select those and delete them. Grabbing my camera node in my perspective window and shift selecting my curve, I can come up to my animation menu set, come over to animate, motion path, attach to motion path. You'll notice now that my camera is attached to the motion path but it no longer is constrained to the aim. In order to fix this, what I need to do is open up my outliner select my camera one group, shift select my camera one aim, minimize this, reopen up my hypergraph in, uh, connection editor and I'm going to click on the input output connections. You should see a bunch of nodes. Uh, the ones that we're going to be focusing on are going to be the camera one group and the camera one node. What I'm going to do is deselect, uh, click anywhere in the work area, and then I'm going to middle mouse drag my camera one group onto my camera one node and click other. Inside the output sections I'm going to scroll down until I find constrain rotate and I'm going to expand that and then under inputs I'm going to scroll down until I get to rotate and I'm going to expand that. You'll notice that there's already something attached to the rotate so in order to uh, make it so that we can connect our constraints to that rotate, what I need to do is select my camera, come over to the rotate X, Y, and Z, select those, hold right click, and go break connections. Now you'll notice that the connections uh, to the graph have been broken. Opening back up our connection editor, you'll notice that the rotate X, Y, and Z can now be uh, linked together. So I'm going to click on my constraint rotate X to X, Y to Y, and Z to Z. After I do that, I can close my window. And now my camera is attached to a motion path, but the aim is still independent. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.